Today we're going to learn how to put a piece of stock in the mill and zero it. Let's talk about it. Now we have an aluminum stock hand tightened in the vise and we will use our dead blow hammer to hit the stock itself and the handle on the blue part, not this handle part, and repeat as necessary to ensure the stock and the parallels underneath cannot move. Note the aluminum stock is now in the vise, properly tightened and the parallels cannot move. Note the parallels are also up against the vise itself. Here are some other parallels. They come in all different sizes to properly raise your stock up from the vise for through holes and etc. So now we're going to set an origin on the part, also known as zeroing. There are three ways. This first way is using a drill chuck and a pointer. This technique is used when you know you have ample material. So first you would scribe two lines on your stock on where you want your origin to be. And then you would move your pointer over the intersection on what you think is close enough. And then to zero the X and Y axis, you would press X and absolute set, and then Y and absolute set. The second method of zeroing your part is to touch the stock slightly with the end mill. This is faster than the first method because we do not need to remove and insert a drill chuck with the pointer. So after the end mill is lowered and ready to cut your part, we're ready to zero the x-axis. We can turn on the machine and then slowly move the end mill into the x direction towards the part. We will stop when we see a small puff of metal shavings. and zero the x-axis by pressing X and absolute set. But we need to consider the tool offset. The tool offset is the radius of the end mill. In our case, 0.25. So after raising the end mill above the part, we can move in the x-direction towards the part by 0.25. We can then re-zero the x-axis by pressing X and absolute set. You will need to repeat this entire process to zero the y-axis. The third way to zero your part is to use an edge finder. This is the most accurate and most common way. The edge finder also uses the drill chuck. So with the edge finder now properly set up next to your part, we're ready to turn on the machine. We'll poke the edge finder so that it's off-center. And then slowly come into the part. Note it will appear to become one piece. And then shift to the left. This indicates we're finally touching the part and ready to zero. And we will zero the Y axis by pressing Y and absolute set. Similar to method two, using the end mill, we need to consider the tool offset. We will first raise the edge finder above the part, then move in its radius of 0.1. To then re-zero again the Y by pressing Y and absolute set.